This is the Up Air 1 4K drone. It also comes with a controller with a 7 inch monitor built in. And the Up Air 1 drone features a 2 axis gimbal. The camera footage is really stable. The 4K footage is pretty good. I've seen better 4K footage, but I think for this particular price range, you're not going to get a better 4K camera. I did a little modification with this drone. I moved the first person antenna and the other two antennas from the inside to the outside to get better reception. And the first person view, I've gone over 200 meters so far with no problems with the reception. And the Up Air 1 uses the same blades as the DJI Phantom. This is a very stable drone. It also has return to home, which functions really well. So included in the box is the remote control with a 7 inch monitor built in. This remote also has a battery inside here. It has a 15 mAh battery. Also included is the manual and also four extra blades. And it comes with one 5400 mAh battery. And the included charger is designed to charge both the battery and the remote battery. You have to charge them separately, but this is a quick charger. So the battery charges in about two hours. The remote battery will charge fully charge in about three hours. One of the nice things about this particular model is that it has a self-calibrating compass. All you do is turn on the controller and the drone and it will calibrate itself. I think the build quality is really good. It feels really sturdy. It's really easy to start. You just turn on the switch on the bottom. It turns on the remote. And on the back of the Up Air 1, you press it once and you press it again and hold it. And you hear it beeping. You can see the monitor is really clear. You have the number of satellites here. I just turned it on so it'll take a minute. Then you have your distance and your height. Also has the voltage here. And it has an arrow indicating which direction the drone is flying. And you have your compass there. Let me briefly go over the remote. Like a standard drone, this is your ascend, this is your descend, this is the rotation of the drone itself. This is right, left, forward, and back. This switch here is your return to home switch. You just flick that and the drone will return home. This right here in the middle is position hold. This is your headless mode, and this is your altitude hold. They recommend keeping it in the middle, position hold mode. And this here controls the camera. You can actually move the camera while it's in the air flying, which is really nice, and rotate it up and down. Over here is your photo button and your video button. And inside the drone itself, you can insert a micro SD card. I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in my drone. I'm going to take you on a flight here. This is about the 12th flight I've taken with the Up Air 1. I'm going to go about 120 feet up in the air, or 40 meters. Then I'm going to go ahead and go about 1,000 feet across the street to the train tracks. They're about 300 meters away, or 1,000 feet away. Then I'm going to hover right over the trains and get a video for you. I uploaded this video in 4K so you get an idea of the Up Air 1 4K footage. Like I said earlier, the 4K footage is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's definitely passable. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the return home button. You're going to see the drone turn and head back at about 30 miles an hour. Once it gets over us, it's going to spin again and just descend down. So the return home feature is excellent. Also, the drone stability is very good. You'll see it hovering and staying in one place without moving. The two axle gimbal is good at holding the frame steady, even when the drone is moving rapidly. And the battery life of this drone is really good. You can get about 19 minutes in one flight. It also has some fail safes. It'll return home when the battery gets low. It'll also return home when it loses a signal from the controller. At this distance, the controller has a little bit of interference from some Wi Fi's in the neighborhood. But overall, the image quality is still pretty good at 1,000 feet. And there hasn't been any kind of mechanical or any kind of software issues with this drone. I've flown it about a dozen times and it returns to home with no problem. It also picks up satellites really well in my area. I had 19 satellites on this particular flight. So I think the Up Air 1 4K, whatever they've done with the previous versions, they've really improved this particular version where it's very stable. So for the price point, I think you're getting a great quality drone for the investment with a good 4K camera.
That's a quick look at the FAR1 with the 4K camera and with the remote with the built-in 7-inch screen. InyoPools.com is a proud sponsor of Swimming Pool Tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.